Welcome to the 1 to 99 fishing guide. Today you're going to learn everything you need to know about the fishing skill. That includes the most profitable methods, the fastest methods, the most AFK methods, and a load of different alternative viable methods. You'll be walking away from this video as a master in everything fishing. And if you're looking for more 1 to 99 guides, check out the skilling guides playlist on the channel. Now before we jump into the fastest 1 to 99 method, there's a little bit of basic information you're going to want to know. Fishing uses two types of items, divided into consumables and equipment. Consumables are used at the rate of one item for each fish caught and are stackable, while the equipment is non-stackable and reusable. Net fishing requires a small fishing net. Bait fishing requires fishing rod and some fishing bait. Fly fishing requires a fly fishing rod and feathers for bait. Harpooning requires a harpoon. Cage fishing requiring a lobster pot. Barbarian fishing requiring a barbarian rod and usable baits. And you could do the fishing trawler mini game to get a set of angler's outfit for an additional 2.5% more fishing experience gained per fish caught. But as a warning, it may take you many hours to get the outfit. Furthermore, for those of you guys who are wanting to earn some money while fishing, you may want to acquire the Rada's Blessing from the Corinne and Kibo's Diary. The easy, medium, hard, and elite diaries all give a 2%, 4%, 6%, and 8% chance of catching two fish at once. However, you will not receive any experience from the extra fish that are caught. And lastly, the Blessing must be equipped while fishing for this to take effect. Using the fish barrel from Temporus will allow you to store 28 raw fish, making time between trips to the bank longer. And lastly, turn on the fishing plug-in on Runelight. Now on to the guy. The fastest way to get one to 99 fishing. Early levels can be skipped by completing quests that give fishing experience. Completing Sea Slug, Fishing Contest, and the Freeing Pirate P quest of Recipe for Disaster will grant you a total of 10,612 experience, which will get you up to level 27 fishing. All these quests have few requirements and can be done at a low level. Completing them is a much better route for early fishing levels than catching fish. Notably, the experience reward from Sea Slug is enough to get you from level 1 to 24 fishing, and it's faster to complete the quest than catch low level fish. Completing Taibuana Trio and and the Fremnik Trials will grant you an additional 7,812 experience, which would get you up to 33 fishing, but they do have higher requirements to complete. Three Tick Fly Fishing Trout and Salmon offers the fastest fishing experience from level 20 up to level 58 when using Tick Manipulation. You'll need a Fly Fishing Rod and Feathers to catch the fish. Three Tick Fishing is done by using a Herb on Swamp Tar and clicking on the Fishing Spot. When timed correctly, you'll have a chance of receiving fish every three ticks instead of five. Drop the fish in between catches before clicking on the Fishing Spot. Without Tick Manipulation, this method that is only recommended as a low effort alternative past level 35, as Temporas offers faster experience. At level 47, drift net fishing becomes better than three tick fly fishing if you also need to train hunter. Recommended fly fishing locations where the fishing spots have minimal movement or are useful otherwise are southeast of the southern gate to Prifidus, where the fishing spots do not move. The area requires partial completion of regicide to access. After fully completing regicide, you can quickly get there by using a Loreworth Camp Teleport Scroll and running east through the dense forest. Shallow Village is the best location for banking your fish. The area requires the completion of Shallow Village quests to access. You can also go to southeast of the Farming Guild or north of the Chaos Druid Tower near East Ardon. Barbarian Village has a permanent fire nearby where you can cook and drop the fish. All these areas are different in their own way and have advantages and disadvantages. Now onto the experience rates. These rates I'm going to mention are assuming you're not wearing the angler's outfit. The AFK rates include time spent dropping the fish and the actual rates vary depending on how fast the fish are dropped. Using the spots southeast of Prifidus will result in about 5% faster experience per hour. Did you know that there's a few Discord servers that are dedicated on giving GP out? One way players make a lot of GP without necessarily playing a game is by entering giveaways that usually occur on YouTube videos, streams, social media posts, or Discord servers. Here's an example of a giveaway-based Discord server that gives hundreds of millions of GP, if not billions of GP away weekly. Everything they do is completely free to enter, and they also track any Twitch streamers that have giveaway in their title and have a notifier for anyone who's interested in that type of content. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you guys who want to join and have a passive way to make some GP. At level 20, fly fishing is 23,000 XP an hour, 3 ticking, 13k an hour if not. Level 30 is 45k an hour, 3 ticking, 25k an hour if not. Level 40 is 53k an hour, 3 ticking, 30k an hour if not. And so on following this list I'll have up on the screen. All the way up until level 99, which is 93,000 experience an hour, 3 ticking, and 50,000 experience an hour if not. Once again, this is the only fastest method until 58 fishing. And should also be stopped at 47 to go drift net fishing if you need hunter experience too. Speaking of, go watch the hunter guide if you 
want to know how to drift net fish. Three tick barbarian fishing becomes one of the fastest training methods at level 58. This method offers small amounts of passive agility and strength experience, which makes it one of the most efficient ways to train fishing, especially for players with low agility and strength levels. Even though barbarian fishing becomes available at level 48, it is faster to do drift net fishing or three tick fly fishing until level 58, which allows you to catch leaping salmon. If you're not going to use any sort of tick manipulation, it is better to continue doing drift net fishing. However, even without tick manipulation, this method still offers relatively fast experience at low effort, which can be useful. You must complete a portion of barbarian training to be able to catch leaping fish. Having level 30 agility and strength is required for catching leaping salmon, and level 45 in both for leaping sturgeon. You also need suitable baits such as feathers and a barbarian rod obtained from Otto's Grotto. Now, if you're doing tick manipulation, you'll also need certain items to create a three tick action, such as herb and tar, or a knife, antique, or mahogany locks. The best spot for barbarian fishing is at the pond next to Otto's Grotto. You can quickly get there by using a games necklace or grouping teleport to barbarian assault and running southwest. The most basic method for three tick fishing is to drop the fish between catches. This can be done by starting the three tick cycle, dropping the fish, dropping the fish using shift drop, and clicking on the fishing spot. This requires accurate clicking and some practice to perform consistently, but it is more efficient than dropping a full inventory. There's also cut eat or eat cut fishing as a more advanced or slightly more click intensive method. Having at least 80 cooking is recommended for 100% chance of successfully cutting leaping salmon and sturgeon if using this method. Cut eat fishing is done by starting a three tick cycle with a urban tar, cutting the fish with a knife and eating the roe or caviar to tick manipulate. When you run out of roe slash caviar to be eaten and fish to be cut, use urban tar to continue the three tick cycle. The benefits of this method is that it provides some passive cooking experience. It does not require you to drop the fish and it is slightly cheaper due to fish off cuts also being produced which are used as bait over the feathers. However, it is less predictable due to randomness being involved, which may take some time getting used to. It is also stricter with timing. If the cutting and eating is done too late, the cycle becomes offset. Once again, these experience rates that I'm about to read off are assuming you're not wearing angler, and both rates are dependent on how fast you drop the fish. At level 48 fishing, you'll get 23,000 fishing experience an hour without tick manipulation, or 41,000 experience an hour with. At level 58, you'll get 37,000 fishing experience an hour without, and 68,000 XP an hour if you are 3 ticking. At level 70, you'll get 48k fishing without, and 90,000 if you are 3 ticking, all the way up to level 99, where you'll get 57,000 fishing experience an hour without tick manipulation, or a whopping 108,000 experience an hour if you are. From level 71 to 99, two tick harpooning swordfish and tuna in Piscarelius offers the fastest fishing experience in the game. Tick manipulation must be used for this method, as without it, the experience will be a lot slower, and this method would not be worth doing over the other methods. This method is comparable to three tick barbarian fishing in terms of overall efficiency when using the crystal harpoon, assuming you have high agility and strength levels. Those of you who have a low agility or strength level benefit more from the passive agility and strength experience gained from barbarian fishing, so it may be better to train with barbarian fishing in general. However, two tick harpooning is the fastest method on average of obtaining the heron pet, which can be desirable for some of you. The fishing spots for two tick harpooning are located in the northwestern part of Piscarelius, just west of the bank. You can quickly get there by using the fisher's flute teleport and running northwest. Now, to do this method, you must be attacked by two rats attacking two ticks apart. After setting up the rats, the only clicking that must be done is clicking the fishing spot on the ticks that a hit splat appears on your character. Using the crystal harpoon is strongly recommended here, as it has a higher catch rate compared to the dragon or infernal harpoon. Experience rates are incredibly high for this method. At maximum efficiency, it is possible to gain up to 135 to 138,000 experience per hour at level 99 when using the crystal harpoon. Those of you who are using the infernal harpoon can expect to gain around 20,000 to 26,000 passive cooking experience an hour doing this method, depending on your fishing level. Assume you're using the best possible harpoon, at level 35, two tick harpooning is 25,000 experience an hour. At level 50, it's 60.7 thousand experience an hour. At level 61, it'll be 79.9 thousand experience an hour. At level 71, it'll be 101k XP an hour. At level 85, it'll be 116.9k XP an hour. And lastly, at level 99, it'll be a whopping 132.8 thousand experience an hour. And to recap this entire section in brief terms, quest, then fly fish until 58, or 47 if you're drift net fishing to 99. Then at 58 fishing, do three tick barbarian fishing until 71, and then two tick harpoon fishing until 99 for the absolute fastest experience in fishing. Now that's some extremely fast experience, but what about the most profitable way to 99 fishing? To be honest, fishing doesn't have a lot of profit in it at the early levels. So from level one to 65, do whatever fishing method you enjoy. From 65 fishing to 82, catching carabon offers slow experience being roughly 30 to 45,000 experience an hour, but it requires a low amount of effort and nets you 230 
134,000 GP an hour. This method requires completion of Tai Buana Trio. As the Carabon fishing spots do not move, an entire inventory of fish can be caught without needing any intention. Carabon are caught with a Carabon vessel and raw Carabwani. Raw Carabwani can be caught northeast of the ferry rank CKR using a small fishing net. The Carabon fishing spots are located just north of the ferry rank DKP. Banking can be done by simply using the ferry rank to go to Xanaris Bank and running back. Using Karamja gloves 3 or 4 or just use the ferry rank code DJR to the Chasm of Fire and use the bank chest 30 tiles to the east. Additionally, obtaining the fish barrel from Teporas allows for double the amount of Karambons to be caught in a single trip, increasing the time you can AFK to 3 to 4 minutes depending on your fishing level. From level 82 to 99, catching minnows offers relatively slow experience, but it provides decent profit. This can be done at Kylie Minnows Fishing Platform in the Fishing Guild, which requires level 82 fishing, completion of the quest fishing contest, and having full angler's outfit. Minnows can be exchanged for noted raw sharks, which can be sold for profit. Minnow fishing spots move clockwise every 15 seconds. In addition, a fishing spot will occasionally spawn fly fish instead of providing minnows. Fly fishing will eat 20 minnows directly from your inventory, as long as you keep fishing there, forcing you to move to another spot. A flying fish will only appear after a fishing spot is changed, and will continue to eat your minnows until the fishing spot changes position once again. Before we get into the XP, know that a Rado's Blessing increases minnows per hour by 2% per tier of diary completed, but we will be covering the no blessing experience rates. At level 82, it's 40,000 fishing experience an hour and 250k GP profit an hour. At level 85, it's 43,000 experience an hour and 292 gold an hour. At level 90, it's 45k XP an hour in fishing and 335 gold an hour. At level 95, it's 48k an hour in fishing and 378,000 gold an hour. Lastly, at 99, it's 56,000 experience an hour and a nice 430,000 GP profit an hour. Now, there's also many different alternative methods you can use that are extremely viable to level up your fishing. Lobsters. Catching lobsters at Catherby from 40 to 76 fishing is an extremely low effort method of training. Completion of Family Crest is recommended before using this method. The benefits of catching lobsters at Catherby over other methods is that the range is one to two clicks from the fishing spots, which is one click from the bank, which is two to three clicks from fishing spots, leading to a round trip of caught, cooked, and banked lobsters, totaling at seven clicks plus clicks due to the fishing spot location changes. As the fishing spots are cage and harpoon, each location change saves one click over tuna and swordfish. The disadvantages of this method are slow experience rates and higher burn rates due to the lack of Hasidious range bonus. Usage of cooking gauntlets is recommended to compensate. With minimal attention and cooking, around 15,000 experience an hour can be expected at level 65 fishing, as well as up to 19.5k an hour of cooking experience. Swordfish and tuna. At level 75 fishing and 85 cooking, you can start using an infernal harpoon to fish swordfish and tuna in the fishing guild. The close proximity to a bank and the invisible plus 7 fishing boost make this spot the best place for this method. This method is noticeably more AFK than monkfish fishing, since the spots move less often and are closer to each other. Moreover, with the Infernal Harpoon, your inventory will fill up more slowly than with other harpoons. However, the profit is lower than monkfish fishing, since you must recharge your harpoon every 5,000 uses. You can gain around 35,000 experience per hour at level 75 and 42k experience an hour at level 99. Infernal Eels At level 80 fishing, you can start catching Infernal Eels. Within the city of Mor Urek, a fire cape must be shown to a Tazarket guard to gain access to Mar Urek. This does not consume the cape, and Infernal Eels can be smashed open using a hammer to extract 10 to 20 tokel, 1 onyx bolt tip, or 1 to 5 lava scale shards. Per eel, the estimated profit is 524 GP, not counting the estimated value of your tokel at 165 tokel per eel caught. It is recommended to fish Infernal Eels in the southeasternmost area of the city, as the other two areas may have their fishing spots disappear more often. You can expect to get around 28,000 experience per hour at level 80, and 35,000 experience per hour at level 99. Angler Fish. At level 82 fish you can start catching angler fish in Port Piscarilius. In order to catch angler fish, sandworms are required. Sandworms can be purchased from Tainan's fishing supplies nearby or the Grand Exchange. You can gain around 15,000 experience per hour at level 82 and 23,000 experience per hour at level 99 and make a little bit of profit on the way. Dark Crabs. Catching dark crabs inside the resource area becomes a viable low effort option after completing the Elite Wilderness Diary. The Diary Reward increases the catch rate for dark crabs significantly and provides you free access to the resource area. The fishing spots inside the resource area also never move, which makes this a very low effort option. However, as the resource area is located in deep wilderness, you will encounter player killers here and there, but they're fairly easy to escape. The fish can be noted at piles for 50 coins each. It is advised to bank the fish in Edgeville every so often to reduce your overall risk. Now, to have a good chance of escaping PKers, you should wear a cheap defensive gear setup while bringing three to four expensive armor pieces so you can protect them without sculling up. You also are going to want to bring a few Saradam and Brews, along with super 
restore us. You can optionally bring a lockpick and escape using the nearby magic axe hut. And as an extra little tip, if you equipped an imbued ring of wealth, it will increase the chance of you obtaining clue bottles while fishing here. Now, if you don't really care about profit, you could simply drop the fish and risk nothing. Having spare wilderness swords and the edge will respawn is recommended if you're doing this method, as you can expect to eventually get PK. Dark crabs can be too ticked by using the runite golems in the area. This increases fish caught per hour, but requires much more effort. Tick manipulation is only recommended for those of you who want good profit along with relatively fast experience, as two tick harpooning offers faster experience overall and does not involve you having to deal with PKers. You can gain around 40,000 experience per hour without tick manipulation here, or you could choose tick manipulation and gain 120 to 125k experience per hour, increasing your experience rates by a lot. Sacred Eels. At level 87 fishing and partial completion of the Regicide quest, you can catch Sacred Eels at Zolorandra, giving 105 experience per Sacred Eel. With a cooking level of 72, the fish can be dissected with a knife to extract Zolra scales. Dissecting the fish can give 3 to 9 scales and 109 to 127 cooking experience each. Your cooking level affects how many scales are received when they are dissected. With a cooking level in the mid 80s, you can expect to average around 5 scales per fish. And at a cooking level of 96, you could get around 7 scales per fish. You'll gain 21,000 fishing experience per hour at level 90 fishing, increasing to around 23,000 experience per hour at level 99, and bringing in some profit as well. Aerial Fishing. Aerial Fishing is only useful if you want fishing in Hunter XP and don't have the Angler outfit, or you just want the uniques from Aerial Fishing itself. So if this very specific thing is the case for you, go watch the Hunter guide I have on my channel. Temporos. Fighting the Temporos offers relatively fast experience, and it requires fairly low amount of effort compared to the tick manipulation methods. Now, not cooking the harpoon fish means getting lower amounts of points and loot, but significantly more fishing experience. With a crystal harpoon and a fishing level near 99, this is the fastest experience in the game if not using tick manipulation methods. Although with no crystal harpoon or if you're not near level 99 fishing, drift net fishing will yield higher experience rates. With the experience per hours, assuming you're using the best harpoon available to you, at level 35, you'll be getting 22,000 experience per hour. At 70, you'll be getting 58k an hour. At 80, you'll be getting 62,000 an hour. At level 90, you'll be getting 66,000 experience an hour. And at level 99, you'll be getting 70,000 fishing experience an hour. Monkfish. Catching monkfish at the Piscator's fishing colony offers relatively slow experience, but it requires a low amount of effort. To catch monkfish, you must have completed Swan Song and have a small fishing net in your inventory. At level 62, it's 35.8k XP an hour and 58k GP an hour. Level 70 is 37k an hour and 60k GP an hour. Level 80 is 38.5k XP an hour and 63k GP an hour. At level 90, it's 40,000 fishing experience an hour and 65,000 GP. And at level 99, it's 42,000 experience an hour and 68,000 GP an hour. Congratulations, you're now a master at the fishing skill. And be sure to check out every other 1 to 99 guide on the channel. Oh yeah, and subscribe to help us become the number one place for the old school RuneScape community. I'll see you guys on the streams.